up, it's your boy George Hurst, also known as Point Focused. I'm out here in downtown Cleveland with my homegirl, Maggie. Hey. hey, so we're actually currently right now, as you can see, she's holding a light up umbrella and we're doing some creative photography. I'm currently vlogging on my A7 II and I'm shooting on my A7 R3 because I need that dynamic range for those, you know, exporting, or not exporting, uploading and like that dynamic play I can do in Lightroom and Photoshop. Uh, we're currently, we just shot like on the bus station and then like in the middle of the street. <laughs> and now we're like headed to this neon sign. How about the dog that <laughs> interrupted our photo shoot? Alright, so you might see it. I might put the clip in. I don't know if I caught it on camera. But there's a dog just like crashing in the middle, middle of this picture. And I'm like, okay, whatever. You know, it's casual. I might, I'm shooting at 120p, so I might be able to slow down the poop coming out. <laughs> but we'll see. I'll, I'll tune back into you guys a little bit later. <laughs> Alright, so we just walked all the way down the street and we're right in front of the board, but I just wanted to get some pictures in front of this neon sign for some random wolf feels. So we're gonna see. I don't know if I can actually do a style, but I'm getting kind of close to that dreamy effect for my own personal head. But enough talking, let's get into it. Let's make that magic happen, baby. So shout out to Colossus Cupcakes for owning that dope sign that we just got all these photos. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a B-roll photo shoot uh, right about now. But as you as you're listening in and like tuning in to the photos and showing love, like I appreciate it much. We're walking to what's it called again? West Six. And we're about to shoot there. It's actually probably gonna be crowded. Yeah, it's gonna more be than likely, crowded. right? Because like it's what is it like a restaurant? And it's the, like a restaurant strip. So, there's a lot of bars and restaurants in the strip, but they have beautiful lighting, but so it brings a lot of people. We're, we're cocky and we're arrogant, so we're going <laughs> to walk right in there, we're going to get the photos we need to do, and we're going to walk out just straight flexing every muscle we got. You know, we both are warmed up now, so let's get this shit, right? Let's <laughs> yeah, let's do it. <laughs> separate like a long time ago so it might be $30 I can't remember but I'm sure you can find one on Amazon for like five bucks. Like, yeah. Thoughts about the shoot? Um, I loved it. It was my first prop shoot. Everyone has been coming up to us and saying something and staring at us. <laughs> Other than that, it was a lot of fucking fun. How, how do you think the photos are gonna turn out? Oh my god, they're gorgeous. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see them. We are currently back here at my new place, new apartment. I'm loving it a lot. 
uh, but it's not done yet so I will not give you guys a b-roll tour of the new place but I will as soon as everything is set up how I want it uh, but the photo shoot let's talk about that so we went out in downtown Cleveland as you can see or kind of tell if you're from Cleveland you recognize the area and I think it's called West 5th is where we were shooting uh, but I decided to do this shoot because I was inspired by this guy named Lucan Coates Cotts I think his last name is Cotts uh, but whatever I'll, I'll do a little segment of his Instagram and as you can see in his uh, Instagram feed that he does a lot of dreamy and surreal photos and him and Chris Howe teamed up and did a YouTube editing tutorial on how to get that effect for yourself and I was like you know what I want to try it I always am down to learn something new try and experiment because in your first couple years of photography you really don't have a style kind of like you learn as you go and I just wanted to test it out for myself and see if it's something I would want for myself in the future but uh, these are the photos I got I don't know if I did the effect right I don't know if I could have done it better uh, but looking back at it now I'm really glad that I did do it and it was a learning experience for both me and Maggie uh, but I know you guys are wondering how did I make that umbrella where can you buy it can I get it for myself and yes no and yes i don't think you can buy it i'm not sure you possibly could but why would you buy it when you can just make one at home so let's get down to it you just take sorry i'm kind of distracted i feel like mary poppins but if mary poppins was bougie uh but enough of that uh, so i just took uh two things of fairy lights and i strung them on the exoskeleton of the umbrella if umbrellas have exoskeletons and I just taped them in and then I used a command strip to hold the battery packs up here because I knew tape wasn't going to be enough and they turn off and on as you please as you can see right here um takes three AAA batteries per person but you know a lot of people got hype on us walking around and we definitely attracted some attention so you know I don't know if it was the pictures or me holding two cameras or the fact that Maggie is really beautiful, but everybody was staring at us. We're attention horse. I'm kidding. Uh, but that is how you make the umbrella. I hope you guys like this video. Please like and subscribe. It always helps out the channel. And until then, always practice what you learn. Peace.